No, no, that's military. They're actually an NGO now. You've got them on the line? Exactly. Because they're on the ground, they're actually. That's a really, you know, step back to it. Of course. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Send me a message. Thanks. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Sorry to keep you waiting, my editor. Where were we? Hey, um, you you were asking about the guy, the the one that went back there, the the guy that um. Ah, oh, that's right. And did you know him well? No, not really. He worked maintenance on our trucks. He was employed by IDAP. No, no, nothing like that. I, I'm, I mean, he just helped us out a few times, off the book stuff. Guy was a local mechanic, family business type thing, you know. I see. I remember he had a place on the edge of town, not far from our setup. We'd chat from time to time. He's a nice guy, friendly. And do you know where he was going that day? To the church. He was going to church? No, no, don't get me wrong. I mean, that place had been abandoned for almost a year. But he was looking for his brother. At the church? Yeah, there'd been reports of, uh, you know, pretty brutal firefight up there. He'd heard his brother might have been caught up in it. Sure, but... And I'm not quite clear on this. Was his brother still alive? Honestly, I don't know. I don't think he knew either. Seems like he was on his way to find out. So, his brother, he was in the army? Uh, yes and no. It's it's complicated. you got to remember it was pretty chaotic back then. Mm, of course. Um, OK, let's back up a bit. Sure. What complicated the situation? Just the history of it all. His brother had been a recruit in the Altus Armed Forces, boot camp, basic training, you know. Well, this is back when NATO was still keeping the peace. But after U.S. forces pulled out, apparently he deserted. Do you know why? No, just I know they argued a lot about it. 